we all know the riches that Manchester City have got and we also know that they've got one of the most successful managers ever in the world of football. But if we are in any doubt at all about the ability of Cole Palmer, this weekend when he became the first ever player to score four goals in a first half. Not only is it underlined the bargain that Chelsea got when they signed the player for £40 million, but to me it also underlined that this is Pep Guardiola's biggest transfer failing. Now granted, when they did decide to cash in on Cole Palmer, they had a front line of Erling Haaland, Julian Alvarez, Phil Foden, Jack Grealish, and also, let's not forget, Kevin De Bruyne. So there was probably a mixture of both financial fair play reasons and also just the sheer amount of numbers up front in the squad that made Manchester City decide to cash in on the Englishman. But this summer we see the departure of Julian Alvarez who decided to join Atletico Madrid for a new challenge and City replaced Julian Alvarez with another City football group player in Savinho who came in from Troyes via Girona. And with the constant injury issues of Kevin De Bruyne, I can't help but think that the best decision they could have done was to keep Cole Palmer. Out of all the signings that Chelsea have done, and being that they've bought a couple of busloads of players, by far in any doubt, Cole Palmer has been their biggest transfer success to date. As in 48 appearances last season, he scored 27 goals and had 15 assists. And proving no fluke, he's already got 6 goals and 4 assists in 8 appearances already this year. And just to add the cherry on top of the cake, his transfer value is also now doubled to nearly 80 million euros. But surely there must be an element of Pep Guardiola thinking what it would have been like if he'd have kept Cole Palmer in the squad. And to have two of the brightest English attacking talents in the same team would have been an absolutely terrifying thought for the other clubs in the Premier League. As could you imagine Cole Palmer and Phil Foden both in the same team, one playing just behind Erling Haaland, whilst the other is playing on the wing and bombing down with their pace? I don't think that there's many scenarios that you could upgrade the Manchester City squad, but having the opportunity to keep Cole Palmer in the squad surely has got to go down as Pep Guardiola's biggest mistake. He's bought and sold a lot of players over the years and because of the resources that he's got, not all of them have been a success. But because the titles keep rolling in and the Champions League successes, no one really questions it. But as certain elements of the City squad now start to get older, with Kevin De Bruyne and Rodri both picking up recent injury issues. And although at the moment, although Erling Haaland hasn't picked up any injury niggles, previously in his time at Borussia Dortmund, he was prone to having a few injury issues. And personally, I just think if Man City had decided to keep Cole Palmer, it would have given them that added extra, which would have covered the inevitable injuries as these players get older. But as always in football, it's woulda, shoulda, coulda. And maybe if Cole Palmer hadn't have got the transfer to Chelsea, he wouldn't have blossomed in the way that he has at Stamford Bridge. But City fans, what do you think? Do you think letting Cole Palmer go was a huge mistake by Pep Guardiola? Or do you trust in the process and not really bothered that the player left, even though he's tearing it up in the Premier League? Let us know in the comments below what you think of Palmer. And as always, thank you very much for watching one of our videos and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel at the end for future football content.